is no place like home. A search that took 13 years comes to a happy end yeah, today. Finally, Dorothy's ruby red slippers worn by Judy Garland in The Wizard of Oz are back in Minnesota now after being stolen from her namesake museum back in 2005. Fox 9's Paul Bloom has more on the recovery effort. Paul, the red shoes returning home after more than a decade. Kelsey, stunning developments today in this Minnesota and really Hollywood mystery. We now know the FBI does have the ruby slippers. But we still don't know who stole them and where they've been now for more than a decade. Now, under the rainbow. It was a Hollywood-like unveiling for one of Hollywood's most iconic pieces of memorabilia. Photographers clamoring for a shot of Dorothy's ruby red slippers from The Wizard of Oz. There they are, and there they stay. One of only four pairs known to still exist from the filming of the 1939 blockbuster. Not only were these slippers stolen, but the memories of a lot of Americans were stolen back in 2005. And we hope today that we give those memories back. The FBI breaking the news at an afternoon gathering inside its Brooklyn Center headquarters. The shoes were covered this summer during a sting operation in Minneapolis, though refusing to give much more detail. We know the slippers were stolen 13 years ago from the Judy Garland Museum in Grand Rapids in a smash and grab break in. They remained underground for more than a decade with mysterious rumors and tips about the shoe's whereabouts surfacing from time to time. There's a certain romance in these types of schemes, sometimes sophistication, but at the end of the day, it's a theft. Investigators would only say Tuesday that they were made aware of an effort to defraud the insurance company that owned the shoes in the last year or so. The FBI got involved identifying suspects, and executing multiple search warrants here in Minnesota as well as Florida. In terms of Hollywood memorabilia, th these are the holy grail. Author Reese Thomas, who wrote a book on all things Ruby Slippers of Oz, reports the shoes were made 80 years ago for just 13 bucks. Their value today in the millions. I would estimate we'll sell for between two and five million dollars, perhaps as much as seven. It depends on who's in the room. Wow. Well, again, no arrests announced today. The FBI appealing to the public for help. Connecting the dots on this brazen 13-year-old crime. Authorities did report this afternoon that the experts at the Smithsonian Museum of American History confirmed the authenticity of the slippers based on wear and tear and other markers. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.